catastrophe beyond belief. Well, with me now is BBC Arabic's Mohammed Taha. So Israel saying that it has launched strikes inside Lebanon. Indeed, the Israeli army launched, uh, uh, issued a statement saying that they targeted uh, uh, targets inside Lebanon, including Sharbiha, Burj al-Shamil, al-Biqa'a, Kifar Kila, al-Khiam, different areas where they said there were stockpiles of weapons and infrastructure for Hezbollah. Now, we've seen the defence minister, uh, Yoav Galant, visiting Go the Golan Heights after that strike on Saturday. The concern must be now that of a wider conflict I in the Middle East. Uh, it will depend on how Hezbollah will responds, uh, respond to these attacks uh, from Israel. But between the, the, the groups that are fighting against Israel, whether Hamas in Gaza or Hezbollah in Lebanon or the Islamic resistance in Iraq or the Houthis in Yemen, all of these groups are packed by Iran and they have the concept of the unity of fighting fronts. So they are co coordinating between each other. And the experience that we saw over the last Last, uh, uh, 10 months or so that the focus in the fighting is in Gaza where the hostages are where the Israeli army want to eradicate Hamas so it might be unlikely that Hezbollah would be interested to launch a massive missile attacks against Israel. Interesting that Benjamin Netanyahu is cutting short his visit to the US to come back so that may suggest that we could see more action from the Israelis. Indeed, we saw uh, the, the escalation from Israel against Hezbollah different times in, in this war. We may see uh, different attacks against Lebanon again, but it will all the time will be depends on uh, uh, Hezbollah response. When we go, if we go back to the war in 2006, the war w w were not uh, spread uh, as much unless Hezbollah started to target Haifa, to target Tel Aviv, to target Jerusalem and this city. So unless Hezbollah would take this war to a further step, I think this war will be, the, the focus of, of, of this war will stay in Gaza. Just explain the significance of the Golan Heights and the Druze people there. Indeed, uh, the Golan Heights is two thirds of the Golan Heights is occupied for, uh, from Israel from the uh, 1967 war. Uh, there are like uh, 40,000 people are living there, 20,000 people are uh, Arabs. Uh, some of them embrace the Israeli nationality and they are Israeli citizens and some of them denied that and they kept links with uh, Damascus and they have uh, uh, Syrian passports. And half of the people who are living in Golan Heights are Israeli uh, settlers. But this attack, uh, as we know, as announced by the Israeli authorities, targeted Druze Arabs in, uh, in the Golan Heights, which who are are typically supportive to Hezbollah. So analysts are saying this missile could be launched from a third party who wanted to, uh, to create a divide between these Arabs and Hezbollah. OK, Mohammed, thank you very much indeed. That's Mohammed Taha from BBC Arabic. Next, Venezuela is heading to the